Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a window regulator on this 2008 Chevy Equinox. Um, we're going to show you the driver's front door, which is basically the same as a passenger's front, uh, as well as a similar process for the rears. Uh, this also works for 05 to 09 uh, torrent. And when your window regulator goes bad, it's usually you hear a popping and then a grinding noise. And when you press a switch, you can still hear the window motor trying to do something, but your window obviously doesn't move. And usually when your window regulator is broken, you can grab hold of your window and move it up and down. Um, but obviously the window does the window motor does not control that. The tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet with extension, a door panel clip tool or a putty knife, uh, a hammer and punch, a drill with a quarter inch and half inch drill bits, uh, you do have to drill out a couple of rivets to get the old one out, and then a T30 Torx driver. If you look in behind your door handle, there's a Phillips screw. Start by removing that. Okay, and then the front, you just pry a little bit with the screwdriver, unclips, and then pull it off. Okay, carefully with the screwdriver, start in the back on this piece of trim here, and pull out. Pop the clips loose. And one last one right up closer to the front here. Right inside here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts. Remove those. Okay, right up here. If you get your finger under there underneath or to use a screwdriver, pull out on this panel. Okay, and then it connects to a little speaker. You just pull that connection apart. Down. Now the panel is held in by a series of clips. Uh, door panel clip tool is the right tool. Uh, if you only have a putty knife, you can actually see the first one. Pull the panel out a little bit. Get right down next to that clip that you can see right down in there. Okay. Pull with the knife and the panel at the same time. Okay. I pop two out there on that one. Keep going down so you feel the next clip. Same thing, and go all the way around. Okay, just speed it up here as I work my way around with all the clips. Once you've released the panel around the edges, just grab the top firm, and you pull, and it comes out. Okay, next you're gonna remove your sound and water shield. Uh, this is in fast motion. I actually take about five or six minutes to get this off. You wanna pull it off carefully. You don't wanna rip it, because uh, you do wanna be able to put it back on um, and have it do its job of keeping water out of the vehicle as well as reducing uh, noise. Okay, so these regulators are um, actuated by a cable, and what happens a lot is the cable breaks. Okay, and you know if the cable is broken because you'll hear a probably usually hear a popping sound, 
and then some grinding and then you can still hear the motor running but it's not moving the window okay and generally when that happens you'll be able to grab your window and move it up and down but what you want to do is the window is held on by a little tab here so you're going to use a screwdriver and push on this little tab right here okay, so while I'm pushing with my screwdriver on this tab okay, push with some pretty decent force and then I'm going to pull up on my window okay. Just look down here and actually the window is unlocked and I know and now I can pull my window right up and it's separate from the regulator. I've secured the window up with some painters tape. I just don't want it to fall down in there while I'm working. Okay, my regulator uh, for the original car is somewhat a part of this whole panel. It's actually attached here with a small rivet and then this um, goes right through. Okay, so my new regulator from 1A Auto comes with a mounting bolt for that lower position and then the upper wheel goes right through uh, with a uh, nut on it. Okay. okay, so this will be easy to drill out. This, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch it with a punch first and then drill it. Okay, so I want to put my punch right in the center. Make sure I've got a good divot to work with. Okay, now I'm going to use a drill and drill those two rivets out. I've gone to my largest and this is a half inch bit. This is just going to shave the things right off. Just be careful of my motor here. Okay. Okay, my window motor is held on by three T30 Torx screws. I'll remove those. Okay. Now my motor comes out. Okay, and disconnects right there. I'm most of the way through on this rivet here, just got a little bit of the sun over. See it moving pretty well at least. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket and remove this bolt down here. there. Okay. And then you push, you grab onto my transmission here, and push it through there. And you bring your old regulator out. And obviously this one's fine. Yours isn't going to look quite like this. It's going to be a little bit of a mass of wires, but new one from 1A Auto. When you open up, you'll have two things ready. 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. And you take this bolt out here, easy enough. Okay, put it aside. And then not off here. Careful. With my other with my hand, I'm holding the um,
Okay, that right there. Okay, now I'm going to clip this. And I'm going to hold my wheel in position here. Okay, put this in. this right into place and I need to be able to, to line everything up here and what I'm doing here is lining that transmission up with the plate up. and then um, pushing it onto the plate and that attaches in and now up here have to kind of push this in the windows right there and get that stub through there. Put that on. Okay, and also put the bottom bolt in here. Okay, and as you tighten those up, uh, make sure you tighten them up nice and firm, um, but you don't have to over tighten them. Okay, and now uh, your window motor should pretty much have to little bit just to get them to go in. Okay. And speed up here again as I thread those in and then use the T30 Torx driver uh, to tighten them up. Okay. You check that. You take the tape off of your window. Okay. And then either slide your window down into place. Okay, and it clips right in. Run a quick test. Great. Okay, now we're just going to kind of speed through putting the water shield back on and uh, the door panel back on. If you need to see this in regular speed, just check out our other videos for the Equinox door panel. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.